so with the cloud, it, it, it's weird. It changes what we do a lot, but it also doesn't change what we do a lot. So what I mean by that, and let me explain that contradiction I just said, we could spin up instances for dev very, very quickly now, within you know an hour or two, whereas before it came down to provisioning a server and working with different customers, that would always be a political task. Very rarely technical. After the two, three weeks of approvals, it would take us maybe a few hours to get the server, but there's that two, three week wait time. Now with the cloud, take your credit card, go online, boom, you've got an instance within an hour, you can do whatever you need to do. Um, so that's changed and that's made development much, much easier. I have a client now that's a financial institution and getting access into their network is pretty difficult for political reasons. So we have a cloud environment set up that I could actually help develop their applications in the cloud when they test and validate and see that everything's okay, we simply push those into their production side or they go through their QA and test and then production. And that's where things didn't change is every single line of SQL I've learned over the last 20 years still works fine on the cloud. Apex works the same exact way. In fact, I'm not even sure sometimes if I'm on a cloud instance, an on-prem instance or a VM on local to my machine, I just have to be careful and read the connection names. There's really nothing additional to learn from an, uh, an Apex developer when it comes to the cloud, which is fantastic.